Welcome to our discussions. We are presenting a question that was done in KCSE 1998, Chemistry Paper 2. And the first part of the question reads, An ore is suspected to contain mainly iron. Describe a method that can be used to confirm the presence of iron in the ore. The only way we are going to confirm the presence of iron in the ore, it is to carry out what we call cation test. So as part of the answer to this question, we are going to first take the sample of the ore Take the sample of the O, then we add dilute either sulfuric 6 acid, we can as well add dilute hydrochloric acid. Then number two, we filter the mixture. Then after filtering the mixture, we are going to obtain the filtrates. So to the portion, to the portion of the filtrate, we add either sodium hydroxide or we can add aqueous ammonia, which is simply ammonium hydroxide. After that, we simply add dropwise until excess. Then in this case, you are likely to see either a dirty green precipitate. I'm using uh, the abbreviations because of the spacing. Confirms the presence confirms the presence of ion 2 ions and this is one of uh, the ways of knowing whether that O contains ion. We can as well take the filtrate then we add either sodium hydroxide or aqueous ammonia dropwise and if you see a brown precipitate, then that confirms the presence of ion 3 ions, which again is the confirmatory test of ion in that particular O. We go to part B of the question. Excess carbon monoxide gas was passed over heated sample of an oxide of ion as shown in the diagram below. Study the diagram and the data below to use it to answer the questions that follow. We have carbon to oxide going through the combustion tube containing an oxide of iron. Then we have the gases that are going to the fume cardboard. Remember what is going to the fume cardboard is excess carbon to oxide and that is gotten after the oxide has been completely reduced. From that experiment we have been given the sample of the results. We have the mass of an empty dish weighing 10.98 grams. We also have the mass of the empty dish plus the oxide of iron weighing 13.30 grams, then the mass of the empty dish plus the residue weighing 12.66 grams. Then the first part of the question now requires us to determine the formula of the oxide of iron. We have been given the relative formula mass of the oxide, which is 202 
the relative atomic mass of iron as 56.0 and that of oxygen as 16. So for us to determine the formula of the oxide, the first thing we are going to start by looking at the mass, the mass of uh, iron. Okay, we can begin by looking at uh, the mass of oxygen. And to get the mass of oxygen, we take uh, the mass of an empty dish plus the oxide, which is 13.30. We minus the mass of the empty dish plus the residue. The residue represents our ion once oxygen is off. And therefore, we are going to subtract 12.66. Which is going to give us 0 0.64. That will be the mass of oxygen. Then we get the mass of iron. And to get the mass of iron, we are simply going to take the mass of the residue, which is now the iron, giving us 12.66 minus that of the empty dish. Remember the residue, which is iron plus empty dish, is weighing 12.66 grams. If we remove the dish, which is weighing 10.98, this one is going to give us 1.68 as the mass of iron in grams. So having done that, now we can calculate the moles. Moles, we are going to begin by looking at the moles of oxygen. And to get moles, we take the mass, which is uh, 0 0.64, divided by the relative atomic mass of uh, oxygen, which is 16. And this one gives us 0 0.04. We also take the moles of iron and for us to get the moles of iron we take the mass of iron which is 1.68 divided by the relative atomic mass of iron which is 56 all that information is provided here this gives us 0 0.03 from there now we can talk about the mole ratio the mole ratio of iron, that is iron to oxygen, we are going to multiply the decimal points by 100. But remember, the mole ratio can also be written as follows. Iron is 0 0.03 and that of oxygen is 0 0.04. If we multiply the 2 by 100, this one is going to be 3 and the other one is going to be 4 and from here now we can write the formula of the oxide and in this case the formula of the oxide is going to be we are going to have iron we have 3 moles of iron combining with 4 of oxygen to form iron 3 oxide And to be more specific, we call it a hematite. This is something that we are going to cover in Form 4 under the extraction of metals. Roman 2 of Part B, write an equation for the reaction which took place in the dish. This is very simple. We are going to have uh, the oxide, which is uh, F. E3 then O4 this is the oxide which is in solid form we are reducing the oxide using carbon 2 oxide remember the carbon 2 oxide being a reducing agent we reduce the oxide of iron into iron which is a solid remember metals are solids at room temperature plus of course the carbon 2 oxide is oxidized to carbon 4 oxide which is a gas for us to balance the equation 
we have three ions so we can write three here we write four here then of course we write four behind carbon two oxide for the equation to be balanced we move down to part c of the question part c corrosive is a destructive process in which ion is converted into hydrated ion 3 oxide hydrated ion 3 oxide is the chemical name for rust roman 1 states two conditions necessary for rusting to take place and for rusting to take place one oxygen must be present then of course we need water the reaction between the two on the metallic surface causes rust next we have one method used to protect iron from rusting we are looking at the methods that we use to control rusting one we can use galvanization we can use electroplating apart from electroplating we can also use painting etc part d we are supposed to explain explain why it is not advisable to wash vehicles using sea water sea water contains sodium chloride and sodium chloride being salt thank you for watching and welcome to our discussion and in case you are watching this channel for the first time please take one second and click the subscribe button so that anytime we publish a video like this you'll automatically be given a notification